Ow. Tweet going up now. And we should be live now. Hey, Four Kings is here. What's up, Four he's, Kings? Uh, he's excited. Welcome to the stream, Four Kings. Four Kings is going to be a little different today, so uh, we're glad you're here to uh, experience it with us. And they might not hear us because they might it's have an, play ad. an ad. Yeah. yeah. An ad. So we'll just keep talking, though. Ad. I think, well, doesn't the delay also kind of work into that somehow? I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. I'm watching an ad right now myself. The next evolution. Alienware, Area 51. Yeah, I'm watching that one, too. No, mine's Alienware Alpha. Oh. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I just... Four Kings is dancing now myself. Oh, that looks very the sexy, Beetle Bear. Let me uh, unmute the stream and just listen for a sec. Make yeah. sure it's okay. Huh. Oh. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I just Four Kings is dancing now. Myself. Oh, that looks very sexy, Beetle Bear. Let me uh, unmute the stream. It looks good, but I'm not hearing the game sound at all. Hmm. Why isn't there game sound? I hear game sound. You do? On the stream? The stream. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, no no ads on uh, Four Kings. So it sounds like um, like kind of british -y music? Yeah, it's okay, like, cool. like, yeah, like lutes and like... Nice. So it sounds good? Harps and yeah. Sweetness. Sounds really good. Here, I'll let me listen for a little bit longer real quick. So, Welcome all. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, nice. it sounds good. It's a, it's a good volume too. Four Kings can hear the game sound too. Awesome. What is up, Four Kings? What is up, Q-O-M-B-I? Whatever that means. Good to see you guys and all the lurkers in the background. We're going to play some Shroud of the Avatar today. Give you a little elevator hey, speech Lumpy, on what what's that up? is. If I can find it. If I can find it. Okay. Shroud of the Avatar Forsaken Virtues is a fantasy RPG that combines a single-player narrative with the sandbox MMO created by the team that includes Richard Lord British Garriott, the creator of the Ultima series, Star Long, the director of the Ultima Online, and Tracy Hickman, the author of Dragonlance. That's a pretty rock star team, if you ask me. So. Yeah, and how's our sound, Four Kings? I think we sound pretty good. If I do say so myself, yes. Oh, hello there. Well, I've, we have another guest watching the stream. Her name's Baby Riley. <laughs> <laughs> she She's like, "What are you doing, you weirdo?" So, Beetle. Yes. I think you uh, you probably better do uh, some warm ups right before we get into the game too far. Are I did some do right any... before the stream. Oh, you did it before the yeah, stream. I didn't know. I, I thought closed... you were gonna do. Oh, I got them right the... here. I thought I you were going to do some of the tongue twisters. Yeah, yeah, I, got, I forgot I got a pronoun. You know, I got a pronoun. So we're going to do a little tongue twisting action here. And then we're going to check out the intro to this game. It's about as clear as an extremely clear window, says Four King. Awesome. And Lump says it sounds good. Good. Yay, we finally got our sound issue sorted. Yeah, it seems like with OBS, the new... Uh, experimental version of OBS that I'm using is really nice and clean and everything is really crispy and nice nice and uh, yeah check out I got some uh, there's some stuff that's not done yet but I've got some uh, new links down below too new icons new and icons whatnot. new stuff some up some updated stuff so uh, let me know what you guys how it looks on your screens just checking the retweets here okay so we're gonna do some warm-ups Okay, we're gonna do the whole stream in Christopher Walken's voice. Okay. <laughs> that, that Red is... leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. So Betty bought a bit of better butter to make the bitter butter better. James just jostled Jean gently. Can I cook a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot? Vera valued the Valley Violets. In Hertford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Five flippin' Frenchmen fly from France for fashions. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's garden? Kiss her quick, kiss her quicker, kiss her quickest. Lucy lingered, looking longingly for her lost lap dog. 
Ten tame tadpoles tucked tightly in a thin, tall tin. Round the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Six, sick, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with picks and sticks. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. Yoda met a Yeti on the plains of Serengeti. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. Big black bug bit a big black bear, and the big black bear bled black blood. Do drop in at the do drop in. Four furious fiends fought for the phone. How was Harry hastened so hur hurriedly from the hunt? Jack the jailbird jacked a jeep. My cutlery cuts keenly and cleanly. Larry sent the ladder a letter later. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pepper? Ugh. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? Reading and writing are richly rewarding. Theopolis Thistler, the thistle sifter, in sifting a sieve of unsifted thistles, thrust the thousand thrust 3,000 thistles through the thick of his thumb. Two toads, totally tired, trying to trot to Tokusberry. Vincent vowed vengeance very vehemently. Wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm-flailing tube man! Wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm-flailing tube man! Wacky, inflatable, aim... <laughs> Wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm-flailing tube man! Alright, that's pretty good. I like it my sheet. It's the sheet that I use. It is lovely. Actually, Beetle, I made a command for you. Uh, exclamation point vocal. So, uh, when you're doing your warm-ups and people walk in and they're like, what the heck is going on? You, We can uh, we can do that. Excellent. So, it, uh, it explains it all. Excellent. Can we move the bobby a tiny bit? Yes, She's absolutely. trying to look at me and it's like... Oh, right yeah. Now. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Wow. Yeah, I don't know, baby. I don't know what to say. Baby. Oh, she's a cutie. Ambush hello, just hello. Live on Twitch. Just got an email about that. Nice. What the heck is Beetle Bear doing? He's warming up his voice for the stream and making sure he'll be nice and clear. In addition to streaming, Beetle Bear's also a voice actor. I should be the voice of Moobot. Isn't that be <laughs> awesome? That would actually be kind of cool. The last ninja cow has entered the channel. Hi, cow. That'd be something interesting. We could record something like that for people who, uh, I don't know, like a reward for people. And then when they join the channel, it plays, it the plays sound. that on the stream. Yeah, the last do. ninja cow has now entered the channel. And I'd be like, What's that booming voice? Yeah, no, we could record it with like the diva like sound effects. So you get that echo or something in there too. It's all epic and stuff. And then the cow sound. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Something like that, maybe. Yes. No, cow's probably deeper than that. Oh. You know, yes. like manly sounding. Yes. We are fantastic, cow. How are you? Cow already heard that I got like eight, almost eight full hours of sleep last night. Whoa. So he knows that, uh, I'm a little excited. I'm excited that you got eight hours of sleep, and Baby Riley is extra. Oh, you took your sock off again, silly. Yeah. Are you ready to watch the intro? All right, yeah. guys, we're going to watch the intro to Shroud of the Avatar. So, without further ado, intro. Tonight began for you as many others, wandering the internet, a click here, an update there, following the various trails of your friends, both real and digital. Another evening searching for something itching in the back of your mind, something familiar yet unremembered. Much of your time of late was spent poring over ancient manuscripts, describing a world apart. One second, guys. My producer told me to shrink myself. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna 
a tiny beetle bear now. I'm a baby beetle bear. Let's try that again, ladies and gentlemen. Baby beetle bear voice. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But you can get your tickets on Ticketmaster! Okay, let's watch this intro. Take two. Tonight began for you as many others, wandering the internet, a click here, an update there, following the various trails of your friends, both real and digital. Another evening searching for something itching in the back of your mind, something familiar yet unremembered. Much of your time of late was spent poring over ancient manuscripts, describing a world apart from yours. These manuscripts were not easy to find. Hidden in corners of the dark net and forums almost impossible to access. The temptation of forbidden lore was enticing, and your time spent gaining access to this rewarded. The documents you have found tell of a world caught in a cataclysm of destruction. Enough power to rip the moons themselves from the sky and destroy what civilization existed. Tells of people struggling to survive, of wars and dark magic and heroic deeds. As you read of the world after, of compacts agreed, civilization restored, and oracles consulted, your excitement grew. The documents were all unclear on issues of time and space and place, as if the world they described was apart yet close by. So close that you felt something call to your very spirit. This world and its struggle is where you want to be. And you felt for the first time the pull of your destiny. I love this part right here, really. It screams Richard Gary. As you read from the ancient manuscripts, that pool became more and more fierce, more and more physical. You feel more strongly than you have felt anything before. Your heart races, your muscles flex as though you were in an illusion. One from which you would awake if only you would just open your eyes. awesome that that is very nice all right all right let's see what's going on this channel x x programmer says uh hi i'm finally here what up man hey x programmer 1920 How you and doing uh you stream too early kappa <laughs> he's joking yeah all and right. uh yeah cow was asking how we're doing i was telling him we're awesome and uh, that's about it. I think uh, Four Kings went off on his dance party and hasn't come back. All right. Well, I think it's time to play some Shroud of the Alpha. Oh, Power. yes. And then our our buddy um, is uh, talking. He says that once uh, you have created your character, he can add you, and then we can add him to the call to uh, do the tour. If Sounds like. good. Yeah. Okay. I probably have to get to the first first part. Is that what he means? The first part. He once yeah once once you create the character, he can add you. I guess. So, guys, I made a character earlier just to make sure everything is all set up and everything, so we're going to delete that character. If you delete your character, you will lose all items and gold in that character's inventory. If you want to save items from that character, you must put them in the bank before you delete. There is no way to recover a character or its items once they are deleted. Are you really sure that you want to do this? Yes. Yes. All right, so now we are making a new character. Choose from male and female. I have like the tickles over this. Yeah, 
good. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, me too. Now, so a little backstory, guys. I grew up playing uh, Richard Garrett's games from the Ultima series on the NES. Didn't play one once before that, but I played a lot of Ultima Exodus on the NES. Um, it was probably one of my first role-playing games I ever played, when I really think about it, other than Final Fantasy or something like that. But uh, he created Ultima Online in, I think it came out November of 1996, and I got it in December, and I played that game for 12 years. Um, so I'm a big fan of everything that he's done in the gaming world and also in the astronomy world. So I think um, he's quite the amazing person, and I am setting up an interview with him on this channel in a couple weeks where I'm going to ask him a lot of questions and we're just going to do a general interview on him and the game and uh, the, the status of uh, Shroud of the Avatar. And I want to remind everybody that I am playing a pre-alpha version of this game. Uh, most game development companies won't show you a game until it's beta, let alone alpha, and this is pre-alpha, so save your judgments of the game until it's fully released, I think, for a pre-alpha. And considering they just switched over to Unity 5, I think, uh, it runs like a champ. So let's make a character. Yeah, I mean, the fact that I can run it, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's been our biggest uh, struggle lately as far as uh, getting me some uh, gaming time. That's right. Uh, Ambush Gamer is running a Windows XP Service Pack 2 machine with a good graphics card and a semi-okay old processor. I think it's a Pentium D. That's um, why it, under my rig section, it says coming soon if you promise not to laugh. I, I, I feel like I should put it on there, but at the same time, it's, it's a little embarrassing for me. I'm not going to lie. So I like that in this game you can adjust your character size. It's a simple thing when you think about it, but when you really think about it, the math required to do that or modeling or whatever they do is really complex. That's cool. Yeah. John Beetlebear. Short hair, slick hair, bald. Page. Bun. Braids. Mohawk. Some kind of maid thing. Oh no, that's like dreadlocks or something. I could have dreadlock. Oh, it says dreads. There we go. Slick. <laughs> I could have slick hair. Maybe a mustache. I kind of oh. like the mohawk, though, because it's got the red bandana. Yeah. Action going on. I don't or wear the, that anymore, the, the, though. Not the mohawk. I know, but Only it's still so Only the oldest beetle bear. beetle bear friends remember that. It's, but it's so, it's so essence of beetle bear. Essence of beetle bear. I like it. Well, we I mean, put it in a bottle. Real, well, we could probably wring that headband out and do that. Well, it, I know where it is, in fact. It's right here in my drawer. Okay, so looking kind of stylish there. I got, like, red hair and dark skin. Four King says, uh, your rig is better than my old one, Ambush. My old PC had no GPU. Well, before I bought Ambush the game, I made sure that it ran on the MacBook Air. And then, once I verified that, I loaded it on her main PC over there. And a little... Uh, frame rate loss on both of them compared to my rig, but I have a very good rig, so... Oh, I don't want that. I don't look like that guy. Okay, slick bald, page boy... Oh, la, la, la. I already decided this stuff. I don't know. I want to have white hair. White hair is kind of cool. I'm a wizard! <laughs> Ooh, black hair. Nah. Nah. Do some oh, red beetle. hair. What? Yes? Oh, beetle, you're so vain. I, I, I do. I just, I really think that, that like, especially for a John Beetlebear character, I, I like the red headband. You do? I do. I think that's just, you know, it'll be make it easy for me to see you, you know, when I'm playing with you. But I might be wearing a helmet or something, you well, know? Well, then that's okay. But, you know, I'm just saying, it's just so you. You don't have to. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, whenever I have options like this in a game, I always try to make my character look not as normal as everybody else just to make him stand out a little bit so I'm making his eyes all sticking out and stuff oh because the camera's <laughs> cutting off the box is cutting off the mic is that what you mean that the can or is the do you think the uh, camera's over a little too far it's weird the way give my camera your, is yeah give us a give us a little more direct feedback and we can uh I mean it's the usual 
what we usually have. I mean, you can kind of see through my head a little bit, I notice. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, but... we did change the lighting up in here a little bit today, and... Do you think that other light would help? I, I don't think there's a problem, honestly. Okay. And one thing we've learned, ladies and gentlemen, is not to do any adjustments to the stream as we're streaming. It just makes problems, so... Oh, you're talking about the game. He's talking about the game. It's oh. really weird the way your camera is. Oh, that you're all up close to the face, maybe? Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. So you're well, sitting there making... You made his nose wiggle a minute ago. Made his nose little? Wiggle. Oh, really? Yeah, when you were, like, playing with the size. It looked like <laughs> it was wiggling. It was kind of funny. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's for you, Lump. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, like the cam camera you use in Lifeless Planet. I don't know if I've played Lifeless Planet, but I will be playing, what is that game called? Savage? I think it's called Savage, Savage something. Lands or something. Savage Lands tomorrow on Gaming for Adoption. Check out that channel. You can see the link right below me here, but I stream Wednesdays on Gaming for, oh, no, not tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday, I do developer streams where I interview developers, and uh, we'll be interviewing developers on this channel as well, starting with Richard Garrett in a couple weeks. Garriott, uh, so look forward to that. I really look forward to it. So I hope you guys can make it. Come see that. We're gonna talk about Shroud of the Avatar. Talk about Richard Garriott's doing lately, and more. More to come. Oh, you like that, Riley? She's working on taking her other sock off. I think. And if anybody's wondering what that noise is in the background, that's our four-month-old baby, Riley. She's kind of... I think she wants to uh, be involved a little bit more today. Yeah? She wants everybody to hear her. Yeah. Yeah, baby's got things to talk about. So I don't usually just make a character like this, but I figure I'm going to play this character for a while. Might as well make it look interesting. Beetle has big jaw. Nice. Get that thin looking face. Looks good to me. Kind of looks like uh, Ewan McGregor with darker skin. Yeah, like Jersey Shore tanning Ewan McGregor. It looks better as a white dude, instead of a tanned white dude. You say Jersey Shore, Ewan <laughs> McGregor? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, he kind of looks funny. I like that. I like it when they look funny. It's got like... Actually, he kind of looks like how, um, Hugh Laurie. He does. He does. He looks like freaking Hugh Laurie. <laughs> 